Hi there. I'm Tiercy Englehart, and I want to take a moment and welcome you to the Unreasonably Grateful podcast. Every week I say this. Some of you have been with me for a long time, so you've heard this over and over and over again. But some of you are brand new. This may be, in fact, your very first episode. And I want to welcome you. I want to thank you for being a part of my journey. And I invite you to share your journey with me as well. Um, I don't have your answers. You do. I just have gathered some of the wisdom that I've gleaned over my 38 year of recovery from living an addictive lifestyle, healing from sexual abuse as a teenager, and then living 20 years with an eating disorder. So over those 38 years, there's bits of wisdom I've gleaned. And this is my opportunity to share some of those with you as an elder, perhaps, as somebody who um, perhaps you can learn from my story as I've learned from the story of those that have gone before me. And sometimes what happens when we share our stories is somebody hears something and they hear it in a way that perhaps they hadn't heard it before. And hearing it that way gives them some insight or some encouragement and helps them in their own journey. It's not that I have your answers, you do, but we can learn from one another's lessons and perhaps not have to make or learn that lesson, make the same mistake or learn that lesson in exactly that same way. So that's my hope. That's why I'm here. And then uh, to go a little bit deeper with you, I offer sessions on Tuesday mornings. And those sessions came out of an experience of sitting with other women, men, and sharing with them what I heard and what I saw. And reflecting back to them in that way was an advantage. It supported them. It encouraged them. It, it allowed them to begin to see themselves, their divine side, as I saw them, which is almost always my experience when someone sits with me and open up, opens up their heart and lets me into their journey. So I invite you, if you're interested in that, Tuesday mornings, you can sign up on my website, tiercyengelhart.com, under the title of Work Together. It's a donation basis. And for all of you who have signed up, thank you, thank you, thank you. I absolutely love the opportunity to honor you and share with you and encourage you in your own personal journey. Okay, so I want to talk a little bit today about getting along. As a child, I used to say to my father, why is it? so hard to get along when it seemed like we were spending so much of our personal resources and government resources and worldwide resources in defending ourselves and protecting ourselves and settling disputes and arguments. And certainly many of us are aware of that right now. And I want to start by saying that oftentimes what we see and experience in the outer world is a reflection of what's going on personally and collectively in our inner world. So right now there's this division that we're experiencing. There's this battle of, you could say good or evil, or what's right or what's wrong, or just the notion of how do we live as neighbors. There's this battle and we're very polarized. So what I encourage you to do is to take a look at where perhaps are you polarized? Because wherever we're polarized, it's much more difficult to get along with someone who perhaps doesn't think, feel, or see things the way we do. Getting along doesn't mean you agree. There's always some kind of consideration. You know, my husband and I have been through many situations where mediation has been called in. And what I love about mediation is it's never about the he said, she said, but it's always about what are you going to give up? Because in mediation, both sides have to give up something. And in most cases, both sides have to give up more than they wanted to give up when they stepped into the opportunity to mediate. Because 
That's why they hadn't settled the dispute, was they were still holding on to getting something that they oftentimes feel is deserved or fair and not wanting to give up any more than they felt like they should or needed to. However, in mediation, it's kind of a general rule. You'll always give up more than you want to, but it's true of both sides. So that's how I see getting along. Getting along is if you're committed to it, if you're tired of the battle or the fight or the he said, she said, or the distance between you and people that you care about or people that you love, if you're tired of that and you'd really like to get along, you'd like to experience peace. And a lot of us say we want peace, but we don't live as if we want peace. Then the question is, what are you willing to give up? What are you willing to give up in order to compromise? What's the other side or sides willing to give up? And you always give up more than you want to. So one of the ways I look at this is I figure out what do I want to give up? And then I give up more than that. It's just a great way to look at it. It's kind of like when you're giving something, I look at what am I willing to give? And then I give a little bit more. It's an exercise in stretching myself so that I'm actually capable of holding more, giving more, receiving more. If I always go beyond whatever the boundary or the barrier that I'm currently living with is. See what I mean? So if there's anywhere in your life where you're feeling polarized or opinionated or you're on a side, this week, see if you can't identify what could you give up in order to get along, in order to experience peace, and then give that up, okay? And I'll see you next week.